and it's going to be a little huge okay so what we have to do is we go to first import the packages ethers and that's coming from we have a required in that we have the ethers and now we have to use the v3 sdk to get the abis of the contract which we want to use to fetch the data and these are the abi so first thing is abi uniswap v3 pool abi and we have installed the packages so it's coming from the artifact contract interface uniswap and in that we have this abi of the contract so if you navigate and you can easily able to find in the node modules okay so we are getting the abi of the uniswap v3 pool and this is the quarter and this quarter contract will give us the price the output will get before we swap the token okay so make sure to type the exact thing pause the video or type it and that's the abi we have here and now we have to get the functions which we have created so we can do it cons and then we're going to import the function get abi and we have to get the pool addresses and this is the two function we have created in price fetch and that's what we have here and now we have to get the rpc url so we can connect with the ethereum mainnet and we have already done that so i already have in this so what i can do is hmm, let me bring this one and if i go to this hard at inside this i have my link so i'm going to simply copy this url because this is what i'm using to connect with the mainnet and that's what i'm going to utilize it here as a rpc url so let's say cons i'll say main net url and that's so that's the url we have we got the url and now we can utilize it so we'll say cons we have to create the provider and to get the provider we got to use this new ethos dot providers dot jcp provider and then we have to simply pass the main net the url we have here so this is the provider we have got now we have to get the contract of the quarter quarter address and here we have to get the address of the quarter contract so if you go to the uniswap documentation you will find in the addresses section all the addresses of the contract okay and i have already imported that so i will simply get that address this is the address we have for the quarter contract of uniswap whether you are on main net test nets all the network has the same address of the quarter contract okay so make sure to get it i'll provide you this address or you can pause it and you can get it or you can go to the uniswap in the documentation you will have all the addresses of the contract and from there you can also get it so that's the addresses we have and now we can start working on the function so we create a function okay let's say get price it's going to be async function and then we're going to receive the amount we want the user to be swap input amount we have the input amount and we have to pass the contract address because we have different pools and all pools have a different price ratio so if someone wants to do the swap on the base of the particular pool we have to pass the pool of that we have to pass the address of that pool so we'll say pool address we got that and now we'll take a variable we'll say call pool contract we have to get the contract and new ethos dot contract and then we have to pass the Data. So to get the contract, all we have to do is to pass the pool address. We have to pass the Uniswap API, so which we already have it, V3 API, and we have to pass the provider. We have to pass the provider. So this is the API we are using right here. Okay? So this is the contract it will give us back. And now, so let me console log it. So we'll say pool contract. Right now it will not work because we are not logging the data. So but we're going to test it. We're just building the functionality. So we got the pool contract. Now we have to get the data. So we'll say the two token. This is the first token we have. Now we have to say await pool contract. We have the pool contract, and then we can call the token token zero this is the first contract we have replicated and this is going to be the second token and this will become the second token we have let's do the console.log so we can test this out later so in this we're going to simply pass the let's say token and token one this looks pretty fine to me now once we have that we'll say const we're going to take more data we'll say token now we have to take the token abi so we'll say token abi is zero first token abi and then we have we'll get it very easily so we'll say await oh, we'll have get abi this is the function we have created and then we have to pass the token address and this will give us the abi of that particular token same thing we have to do for the same thing we have to do for the other token so in this we have to pass two and this will become one so these are the abi we get of both so now so we have the abi of both the token that's pretty fine once we have the abi of both the token now we can make a call and we can get the contract of those tokens so we'll say cause is a t okay token con token zero contract one we'll say new ether dot contract and then we have to pass the data so we have to pass the first is the token one address we have to pass the token one abi and we have to pass the provider so this is the first token so we replicate this one and here we have to make a change so we'll say zero and this will become zero zero so we got the contract of both the token and now here we can make the call so and now we can call the data so we'll say cons we have the token so we'll take the token symbol now we have to get the data we'll say token symbol zero first and we want to get the tokens so we'll say await token contract zero and then we're going to call the symbol function symbol function this will give us a symbol of the token 
So replicate it. Um, here we have to make it one to change. We have the token symbols. We need one more data. We'll say const token decimal. Token dot decimals. So we'll replicate it and here we have to do the changes. Token decimal one. Hope this makes sense to all of you guys. And I made a mistake. Instead of this token address, I have to pass this. Okay, not a big deal. So we can simply copy this and replace this one. And simply from here, we have to replace this one. So we got the data of both the token. And now we want to pass this data to our coders. And now we have to get our coder contract to get the data. Okay, so we'll say const contract new equals dot contract. And then we have to pass the coder address. We have to pass the ABI. Coder ABI. And we have to pass the provider. This will give us the data of the coder. Once we have the data, once we have the coder contract, we can simply pass it. So we'll say const immutables. In that we're going to simply say await get immutable pose. And then we have to pass the contract pool contract and in return we get the data so we'll say const amount in amount in we have to convert it into utils dot pass unity and that's we have to simply pass this so we have to pass the input amount we have to convert it to a string a string and we have to pass the token decimal points so what decimal points we want to use so let's move in zero so that's the things looks pretty fine to me we have our input balance which is coming from this functions and we're getting this pool addresses and that's what we are passing here and we give us the data back so once we've done that, it will return us the data. So we have to say const out in that await. We have the code contract and then we have to call this plastic statistic and then we have to simply pass the code exact in all the code functions. So this is the exact input and then we have to take the data immutable immutables dot token first immutables dot token to immutables dot fee. And the last one is going to be the amount in and let's go with the zero one so this is the code data once we have that now we can simply take another variable because we have to convert the amount amount let's call it out and then we're going to use this either dot utils dot form units and then we have to simply pass the coder amount out and we have to pass the token decimal one because that's what we're going to get as an output token first is the input and token second token zero is the input and token one is output so this makes sense once we have that data and we go to return this data from here so we'll say return and it's going to be in a form of array so we'll say amount out we return the token symbol so the first token and that's why we have taken this and now we can take this token second so the second symbol so these two data we needed so let's go through this one more time we are taking the package then we're getting the ABI of the pool v3 pool then we're getting the ABI of the quarter ABI then we have this two functions which we have created in the helper page then we're creating the main net we're creating the provider getting the address of the quarter now calling the get price and then we are receiving this input and pool addresses so with this we are getting the first pool contract and we have the pool contract with the help of this pool contract we can get in the token the two token addresses because this pool contract will have the addresses of the two token because every, every pool have two addresses because every pool contain two tokens okay so from there we are getting the address of the tokens and then we are simply getting the api because we have the address and this is the function we have in our helper passing we are getting the api in this and here we are simply getting the contract of the two tokens once we get that we are getting the data symbols and the decimal points and here we are getting the quarter contract and we are getting the quarter contract and then we are passing the pool contract and this will return us the data immutable which we are returning there like token address and the fee and here we have the amount we are simply converting into a readable format and here we have the quarter amount output so token one token two fee amount and zero index and here we are simply converting the output amount into a readable format and from here we are returning so i hope this entire things makes sense this entire things makes sense because there's a lot of things going on we have used different contract to get the data okay so if we come here so we are done with this helper functions we are done with this fetch price now so we close this down and now we have to work on this one function with swap update price 